What's up guys, welcome back to DeFi Chronicles. On this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my results using the KuCoin trading bot. So two weeks ago, I decided to try this and see if I could create another passive income stream. And it has been good, it has been good, but with some exception. Um, the thing is, it is not what I was expecting, but it has been good. So starting off, you guys can see here that there are five main strategies. Well, the only strategies that you can use. So the thing with KuCoin, uh, at least for the trading bot, you cannot create your own strategy. So you have to stick with one of these. So starting off, starting off with the first one, we have Spot Grid, which is super simple, just um, buying low and selling high. So if we take a look at the grid here, this is an example. Um, you guys can see that the green line is the buy orders and the red line are the sell orders. So basically, it is like a scalp trading bot. Then we have futures grid, which is the same thing as the first one, but you can short it and you can also use leverage. Then we have the third one, which is smart rebalance. And let's say you have uh, five coins and you want to hold 20% of each one of them. So let's say you have a... Uh, um, $1,000 and you want to have $200 into each one of them. The thing is, if one of them goes too high, so let's say you have uh, BTC and your $200 um, becomes $300. So the bot will sell some of your position to bring it back down at least uh, 25 or 22%. Then use that cash to purchase maybe one that is under 20%. So basically what it, what it is doing is that if one coin overweights, um, in your portfolio over the, the other projects, then it will sell so, some of them. Next, we have DCA, which is just choosing a time frame, a coin, and also the amount of money that you want to invest. So again, an example, let's say every 24 hours you want to invest um, $50 into BCC, then you can do it. You can choose whatever coin that is available on KuCoin and then just choose the time frame. It can be hours and also days or weeks. And lastly, we have Infinity Grid. Infinity Infinity Grid is the same um, trading strategy that I am using right now. So the only difference is, is that um, it is the same thing as Spot Grid. But the difference is, is it will automatically change the range um, to purchase or to sell. So let's say on Spot Grid, if I want to start using it for BTC, I have to set up the minimum price and also the maximum price. So let's say I set 21k for minimum and 23k for the maximum if i get out of that range so if the price of btc get out of that range then the bot will uh, will become inactive so that's why i decided to go with infinity grid so if the price goes up then it will automatically change the range and it, if it if it goes down then it will automatically also change um, decrease the the price so now let's move to my bot, which you guys can see here. I have one that says running and I have been running it for 15 days and 18 hours. So I decided to go with an Ethereum bot just because I know Ethereum moves a little bit more than BTC and I know that it is a little bit safer than other smaller projects. So I just wanted to have like a balance between safe and also something that can moves a little bit more than BTC. Here you guys can see um, my investment. So my initial investment was $146. That was the amount of money that I had um, available on my KuCoin account. Then we have grid profits, which is um, $2.50. These are the um, realized profit. So that means these trades are closed and these are my profit from these trades. Now we also have on realized PNL. This is the amount of money that I could make right now if I close all my trades. But this is on realized PNL. And we have my total profit, which adds the unrealized profit plus the grid profit. And here we have the grid APR and APR for the year. The thing is, I don't really like looking at this APR because the calculation, what it what it does is it takes all the trades for today, then it multiplied by 365. So it doesn't really make sense because I know that I'm not going to be making um, the same trades like the bot is not going to be making the same trades day after day. And so that's why I think the APR is kind of off. 
let's see here you guys can see my open orders which uh, my eth position are the position that um, the bot is trying to sell and my usdt position are the money available um, in trying to purchase some more um, eth we have the order history as you can see here the buy order and also sell order with the grid profit also here the amount of money that i am making per trade is extremely minimal one because of the amount of money that i have invested which is only 146 but also the trades are super super small like the, this thing is taking is taking a lot of trades um per day so as you guys can see here it says 134 trades in just 15 days so now the results my conclusion is that you can make some money from the bot but if you think that you you are gonna be um, getting rich with just this bot uh, you might think twice the thing is I think I made around almost 2% 1.60% so if, if we check let's see 2.5 realized profit by 100 divided into 146 so my profit is 1.71 in two weeks if we divide it into two to see per week so I made 0 0.85. So using just an estimation, let's say per month, I should be making around 3.4, 3.5% on my investment. Now, this is really good money, but if you do the comparison to all these other projects, then maybe it is not a good or profitable thing to do. Like right now, of course, this is paying way more than maybe an USDT staking uh, but it is paying less than a passive income project so really it depends on the type of risk that you want to do and also if you want to diversify into something else so just a quick review on how it has been working for me i do like it i still think 3.4 percent 3.5 percent is some pretty good income if you multiply it by 12 that is 41 percent per year so not bad it really depends on the amount of money that you have to invest or to put in a bot so if you have ten thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars then it is worth it if you have a hundred dollars then maybe the profit that you could be making from it are not really worth it. like 2.5 dollars per after two weeks are not really something that is going to change my life so i'm going to be leaving this for two more weeks and then I'm gonna come back with another review for the whole month. As usual, if you find this content valuable, leave a like, subscribe, talk to you later.